Welcome in. I'm Jasmine, and in this short tutorial, I'll show you how to make these mini keychain journals. I love using botanical prints in these journals, but please feel free to use whatever type of artwork that you like. Here are some of my suggested materials for this project. First, some heavy cardstock. Um, I like to use craft paper, or any thick and sturdy paper will do. A pair of craft scissors. A hole punch. Grommet pliers. Or one of those grommet setting kits. In this video, I'll be using those grommet pliers and the corresponding 3mm eyelets. I think these will be perfect for binding this tiny book. Now you can use whatever type of lobster clasp keychain that you want if you want your book to be a keychain. Of course this step is optional. As for adhesive, please feel free to use whatever you like. I've tested these with different types of glue and I think that simple craft glue works the best. Now as for the paper, I love using thick cold press watercolor paper because it can handle various types of mediums. Now, this is optional, but since I don't like to trim or hole punch pages, I tend to use my Cricut to find binder page templates. I've chosen the scallop design with a rectangle cutout so that my print can peek through. Now I'm just resizing it to about 3.5 by 2.5 inches, duplicating it, and now I'm getting ready to cut. If you're cutting out your own paper by hand, you can print out different shapes, cut them out, and trace around them with your craft knife to make unique cutouts. Cutouts are completely optional. You can just glue your art or stickers, ephemera, whatever you're using to the cover and it turns out just as beautiful. I made sure to cut out my front cutout piece, the back, as well as the individual pieces of paper that are going to go in between. With this 9x12 watercolor paper, you can get about 9 pieces of paper per page, and so I just did this twice so that I have a fuller book. If you're cutting your pages by hand, I suggest using a corner clipper to round the edges out. For such a small book, 15mm binder rings work best. Now that I've cut out all of my pieces, I'm going to go ahead and assemble everything. I've placed some inspo photos at the end of this video using various binding techniques. Let me know if you would like um, a Cricut free tutorial of any of these designs. I hope you enjoy the assembly portion of this video. I think it's the most calming part. 